Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda and today my neighbors gave me a free bookcase which is awesome because like while COVID is spreading my neighbors have a brand newborn baby so uh, they haven't been going anywhere so I also disinfected it just to be sure but I'm at the point where I have lots of books kind of in front of other books. You can't see the third shelf down here but it is full, two layers full and then I know you also can't see it but over here behind me I have books off of my bookcase and then I also have a shelf that direction which isn't a real shelf it's part of my nightstand and then I have a shelf in my closet that's not a real shelf it's part of like a kitchen shelving setup that I use for books so with this new bookcase I think I might finally be able to put everything into two locations and um, have kind of my favorites here and then my secondary books over there all together which <sighs> I'm really excited. I don't know exactly how this is going to be going, but I thought I'd take you guys along to show you how this goes. I'm going to sit and stare at my bookcase for a while. I've already cleaned the other one and set it up and kind of done the top of it set up, but I need to put all the books on it. So I will try to time lapse that and then come back to you guys at the end. Hi. Wow. I look a lot different from that last clip already. I'll take those off for the glare. First thing I did tonight was I attempted to light a candle for about five minutes and after I failed multiple times and finally got that lit I ended up changing into my pajamas and taking my makeup off because I realized it was way too late to have makeup on. The real first step I took was I took everything off of my main bookcase and I didn't even bother looking at the one in the closet or my TBR shelf and I put them into piles of books I knew I definitely wanted on my old shelf, books I was pretty sure I wanted on the new shelf, and then a pile of books that I would put on either shelf just depending on how space worked out. It's not totally in a logical setup. Like I feel some like I feel like if someone came into my room and looked at my three shelves cuz I kept my TBR shelf pretty separate. I'll show you guys in a second there would be no logical understanding of why some books are on certain shelves and why some are on other shelves but to me it all makes sense so pretty much they're split up between my higher epic adult fantasy is on that shelf along with my favorite sci-fi fantasy books and then my favorite YA fantasy books and then I have a shelf over here for like all of my classics and so I'm including that to be Harry Potter, Chronicles of Narnia, and my Sherlock Holmes collection. They're not really like classics like Jane Eyre or anything but they're classic in like the fantasy mystery genre. And then I have a shelf where half of it is my miscellaneous and then half of it is more of my like classic fantasy and I'll show you what that means in a second and then I have a shelf that is all just my YA fantasy that could not fit over here and I feel like really the biggest difference between what made it on my new shelf versus my old shelf was that my new shelf had more like darker adult YA fantasy anyways then I came over to the new shelf and I had one whole bottom row free so I decided to put my half of my TBR over there along with the books that I want to unhaul. I was going to keep the unhaul books in my closet but I decided since I had the room I would like to put them on the shelf. I'm not unhauling right now because no one is taking donations at this time and so the only books that are not on these two shelves are I still have four books on my TBR shelf and I'm going to keep it between like three to five books over here of the next ones that I am definitely going to be reading and then the one that I am currently reading is on top of my nightstand which is where I'm sitting so I'll show you guys that first and then I'll show you the other ones okay so this is my TBR shelf and I have the four books on here that I'm planning on reading very soon and I'm going to say this once I so apologize if I mispronounce the, the mispronounce anything because I'm very tired right now so English is hard but right off the top I have The Rage of Dragons by Evan Winter, Malice by John Gwynn, Legacy of Ash by Matthew Ward, The Queen of Coin and Whispers by Helen Corcoran. Okay and this is the 
top shelf on my old bookcase. You can tell because it's the darker color. And then starting from the left to the right, The Name of the Wind by Patrick Ruffus and The Wise Man's Fear by the same man. This is the only book on this shelf that I have not read. The Black Prism by Brent Weeks, Blinding Knife by the same man, The Broken Eye, The Blood Mirror, and The Burning White. This book actually is a misprint, so when you're flipping through, some of the pages are completely wrong. So like from here, it jumps from 122 to 155. Um, and that happens a lot in this book, and it's like actually incorrect. So one day I'm hoping to buy the paperback so it'll match the rest of the series, but I'm gonna keep this forever because I kind of like that it's wrong. And then also by Brent Weeks, I own the entire Night Angels trilogy. So this has three books in it whose titles I am pulling a blank on, but I have it split up so that you can kind of see where each of the three books is. And then I have The Shadow of What Was Lost by James Islington, An Echo of Things to Come by the same author, and The Light of All That Falls. And then this is my second shelf. Sorry about the lighting. It's hard to film right now. Warbreaker by Brandon Sanderson. I also have The Way of Kings by him. And then I own the second and third books in Mistborn. I actually used to own the first one and I lent it to a friend and I never got it back. So that is The Well of Ascension and The Hero of Ages. Don't ask me which one is the second and which one is the third. I never remember. And then not by the same author but on that shelf so I can't put them back is Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. I have this beautiful copy of Dance with Dragons, also by George R. R. Martin. So yes, I own the first and the fifth edition of this series. I really want to get my hands on the third book, but I just haven't found it for a reasonable price yet. And then right in the corner there was also The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon, which I just finished and I love. Starless Sea by Aaron Morgenstern. I have Gideon the Ninth by Tamsin Muir. I have A Memory Called Empire by Arcady Martine. I have Middle Game by Sheenan McGuire. I have Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. Six of Crows by the same author. Crooked Kingdom by the same author. King of Scars by the same author. My copy of The Language of Thorns, which I painted the what are those called pages i kind of painted the pages to match this blue i don't know how well it's showing in the video but in real life it is pretty much a perfect match and i love it and then this is my third shelf apologies this angle is somehow even worse than the first one never night by jay kristoff god's grave by the same man dark dawn yes every single copy of this series is a different version and then dark dawn is also signed darker shade of magic by Oh, V.E. Schwab, A Gathering of Shadows by the same author, and A Conjuring of Light. I also have the first in the comic books for this series, but that is on the other shelf. You'll see that later. And then I have Illuminate by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff, and I have Obsidio by the same authors. I do not own Gemina. Um, hopefully very soon I will. And then I own a very old, very dirty, very roughed up edition of The Hunger Games. Uh, all of that was my own fault. I own a very new, very pristine copy of the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, both by Suzanne Collins. And then this is my Kindle Paperwhite. I like it. Now over here is my new shelf. So it has four sections. This is the bottom right section and there's a piece of dirt. So starting all the way over here, I have four art books by artists I follow. So I have, I'll just show you these covers. I won't go into detail about them. And there's a print in front of this one, so you can't see it very well. I love all of them. And then I have the only graphic novel I own, which is Sage of Magic, The Steel Prince by V. Schwab. And then I'm not gonna pull any more of these out on this shelf because I feel like it's kind of difficult. This is more of a jigsaw e shelf and most of these people know. So I have my Harry Potter series here. I have one through four and six in paperback. And then I have five and seven in hardback. And then I have one and two on audio CDs. And then this is a Hogwarts sketchbook I got in Harry Potter World in London. This is my collection of the Chronicles of Narnia. It's all seven books individually in like a box set. And then this is my collection of Sherlock Holmes books. I have four books. There's 
this one, which is a collection of some of the short stories. There's this one, which is an encyclopedia. This one, which is more of the short stories. I think a lot of the short stories are repeated between the two. And then this one is an annotated edition of Sherlock Holmes. I love Sherlock Holmes, and so I kind of collect a lot of the books from them. Okay, and for this one, I'm going to start on the right. I know that's super annoying. Aragon by Christopher Paolini. Eldest and Berzinger, I am missing Inheritance, and I have been looking for it for about three or four years now, and I just can't find it in a thrift store. The only one of these that I didn't buy in a thrift store is Eldest. I got that at Barnes & Noble for full price. And then I have the entire collection of Lord of the Rings by J.R.R. Tolkien, including The Hobbit, and all of them are movie cover editions. These three were not originally mine, they were my brother's. This one I got really cheap. This is a box I designed for my work, and they let me have one of the leftover ones, so I stuck it right here, and I really like it. It is empty. And this was a gift I was given when I was pretty young. My town does decorative horses around, like full-size horses around the town. And then you can buy these miniatures. And I used to have more, but I felt like they were just kind of dust collectors. So I decided to pick my favorite and keep that one and then get rid of the rest. This awful edition of Pet Cemetery by Stephen King. I absolutely hate this cover, but it was given to me for free. And then I have this old, old edition of Ender's Game by Orson Scott Card. And then I have 1984 by George Orwell, which I annotated in high school. And I am really excited to reread it at some point to see how my thoughts have changed. And then I have Fight Club with another movie cover edition. I can never pronounce this author's name, so I'm sorry, I'm not even going to try this late at night. I annotated it, so that will be fun to reread one day. Then I have The Lost Clauses of Bleak Creek by Rhett McLaughlin and Link Neal. I love watching them on YouTube. And then I have quite possibly the coolest book on my shelf, which is technically called S by J.J. Abrams, but I don't have the box cover. This is referred to as Ship of Theseus by V.M. Straka. So it is like a book within a book within a book. So as you read it, there are notes from different people talking to each other. There's little cards and handouts that go with the reading material. So there's, it's supposed to be the story of a library book that was checked out and checked back in between multiple people and they left notes to each other in the margin. So not only do you have the main story to read, but you have all these different colored inks, which are different people annotating and understanding and reading the story. And I've never been able to read it, but I got it for a dollar at a used bookstore and online it is worth much, much more than that. So I will never get rid of this book. It's one of my most prized possessions. Now moving over to the top left shelf. I'll keep going from right to left. The Raven Boys by Maggie Steve Otter. Dream Thieves by The Same. Lily Lily Blue. And The Raven King, all by the same author. Yes, my last three are all library editions. No, I did not steal them. I bought them online, used, and I love that they're library editions because they have this nice protective plastic on them. And then I have the whole entire Fallen Kingdom series by Morgan Rhodes. So that includes Fallen Kingdoms, Rebel Spring, Gathering Darkness, Frozen Tides, Crystal Storm, and Immortal Rain. Yes, I have read all of those. And then I have The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey, The Infinite Sea, The Last Star. And then here is my final Lee Bardugo book. I ended up getting rid of my second two in this series, but I couldn't get rid of Shadow and Bone. And then I have this only series that's going in the opposite order. So this is Three Dark Crowns by Kendare Blake, One Dark Throne, Two Dark Reigns. I don't own the fourth one. I will not be buying the fourth one. So this is my final shelf. And basically from here over is TBR. And then this pile, oh, that moved. This pile is books that I am unhauling. You'll notice that I have two copies of Malice. That's because the bookstore, the online one that I bought it from, accidentally sent me two copies. So I will start over here 
first. I have The Queen of Blood by Sarah Beth Durst. I read one chapter and didn't love it, so I'm giving it to a new home, who hopefully will. The Ambassador's Mission by Trudy Canavan. I'm on the fence about this one, honestly. Twelve Kings in Sharakaya. I read this and I didn't love it, so donating it. House of Dragons by Jessica Clueless. I read about 50 pages of it and didn't love it. Where She Fell by Caitlin Ward. I read this for my Virgo reading challenge. You can see everything there. And then I'm not going to pull this out, but it's Confessions of a Young Nero by Margaret George. I'm also on the fence about that one. I bought it because it was out of my normal genre, and so I never am drawn to reading it, but I kind of want to keep it because I do want to give it a shot. And then for the rest of these, I'm not going to pull them out and show you the fronts because you'll see them as I read them. So that's The A Thousand Names by Django Wexler and Ship of Smoke and Steel, also by him. And then there's The Throne of the Five Winds, which I'm really hoping to actually read. I didn't end up reading this for my first Guess My Rating Challenge video. And then there's Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell. And then I have the third book in The Lies of Locke O'Mora, Republic of Thieves by Scott Lynch. Yeah, I DNF'd the first book, but I still bought the third, okay? And then I have Red Sister, also by Mark Lawrence. Wait, I haven't mentioned him yet. By Mark Lawrence. And then I have The Ruin of Kings by Jen Lin. And then I have The Inheritance Trilogy by N.K. Jemison. And this one is going to be moving over to the other TBR shelf next. Anyways, I thought I would close up the video over here because I probably won't be filming in front of this shelf really ever. So why not do a quick wrap up here so you can see it one last time. Yeah, so I'm really glad that I was able to get this second bookcase and was able to get it for free because it's something... I've been wanting to get for a long time, but I didn't want to put money into it, so that's awesome. I like the darker bookcase better, but the white's not bad. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of that. As of me filming it right now, it is June 2020, so maybe I'll do another bookcase tour in a few years. I really don't think my bookcase is going to change that much over the next year, um, I'm definitely going to add more things to it, but I don't see really much coming off of it, especially not off of that other shelf. Maybe a few things off of this one, but not a ton. Anyways, I'm really tired, so I'm going to go to sleep now. I don't remember how my outro goes, so until next time, I will talk to you all in the comments. Bye.